हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ केमिस्ट्री दिस इज माय सेकंड लेक्चर ऑन ज्योमेट्रिकल आइसोमेरिज्म इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस द नेसेसरी कंडीशंस फॉर ए कंपाउंड टू शो ज्योमेट्रिकल आइसोमेरिज्म एंड हाउ टू डेजिग्नेट सिस ट्रांस ई जेड नोमन क्लेचर्स फॉर ए गिवन कंपाउंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम इंपॉर्टेंट फिजिकल एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ज्योमेट्रिकल आइसोमर्स that are useful to distinguish between cis trans or ez isomers since we know geometrical isomers have different physical and chemical properties so here in this lecture we are going to discuss about some physical and chemical properties of the geometrical isomers that are dipole moment density boiling point refractive index solubility melting point acid strength and chemical reaction will also be discussed and apart from these physical and chemical properties spectroscopic techniques are also discussed in this lecture that are helpful to distinguish between cis and trans isomers let's start with the dipole moment so before discuss about the dipole moment in geometrical isomers one must know what is dipole moment so dipole moment is represented by mu and it is equals to charge into distance so distance that separates two different charges suppose we are having a bond formed between two different atoms of different electronegativity so here in this case cl is more electronegative and it pull electrons of this bond towards its side and acquires a partial negative charge and this hydrogen acquires a partial positive charge in this way it develops a dipole over here so the dipole moment for this bond is represented by a crossed arrow the head of this cross arrow is towards the negative end and the crossed part of this arrow is towards the positive end of the bond so positive positive one can remember in this way also so this is the dipole moment i have drawn these two isomers cis and trans suppose my x and y both the substituent groups are of same nature that are of electron donating nature or both are of electron withdrawing nature here in this case this cis compound trans compound in that case dipole moment for the cis compounds will be greater than dipole moment of the trans compounds however if both the x and y substituent groups are of different nature that is one is electron donating and the other one is electron withdrawing then in that case our mu trans is greater than the mu cis let us discuss some examples related to the dipole moment suppose here both are the chlorine atoms both are of electron withdrawing nature so this mu cis is having 1.84 value however this trans isomer have dipole moment equal to 0 if both are of electron donating nature then the dipole moment for this cis compound is 0.25 and for this trans compound is it is 0 if both the electron withdrawing groups are different then this cis compound is having 1.27 value and in case of trans this trans compound will not have zero value this will have value other than zero if we have a compound which is substituted like this then this cl cl dipole moment of this cl and this cl is cancelled out by each other and contribution by the ch3 will be there the dipole moment for the cis compound will be equal to 2.20 and for the trans compound it is 0.84 if we have a compound which has donor and one is acceptor suppose i am having this ch3 h and then cn if in case of cis compound it is having mu cis less than mu trans the values are 4.08 and 4.53 therefore from all these examples we concluded that if both the substituent groups are of same nature then mu cis 
or the dipole moment for the cis compound is always greater than the trans compounds but if both are of different nature then dipole moment for trans compound will be greater than the cis compound so here we can conclude that cis compounds are more polar than the trans compounds and due to this polarity the cis compounds show self association due to the electrostatic interaction between the polar ends and due to this self association these cis compounds have less molar volume and due to this less molar volume so this cis compounds are having high density than the trans compounds as the values are shown over here for this cl cl cis compound and for this compound having cl atoms at their transpositions and in the same way the refractive index for both the compounds are shown over here the cis compound is having more refractive index than the trans compound now the boiling point due to this self association more energy is required to break this self association and therefore the boiling point for the cis compound will be higher than the trans compound next is solubility and due to more polar nature of cis compounds they have more solubility than the trans compounds in polar solvents now melting point in the literature it is mentioned that trans compounds have higher melting point than the cis compounds the next is acid strength let us have an example here in this compound along this c double bond c this compound shows cis trans isomerism in the undissociated form this compound shows resonance due to this resonance this oxygen has this negative charge and this carbon has positive charge now we will discuss this resonance in terms of cis and trans isomers if the r group is opposite to this c double bond o then this double bond o and this double bond are in same plane and therefore have more p orbital overlapping but in case of cis compound as shown over here and due to this steric hindrance of this r and c double bond o the effective overlapping will be restricted by this cis isomer as compared to the trans isomer and therefore the less resonance is observed in this case and therefore the dissociation of this hydrogen from this acid group is facilitated therefore cis isomers are more acidic as compared to the trans isomers through chemical reaction this can also be distinguished here is the example of malic acid and fumaric acid this malic acid simply on heating will gives acid anhydride however the fumaric acid or the trans isomer of this compound butane dioic acid first it is heated to convert into the malic acid or into the cis isomer on further heating this compound will gives the acid anhydride so fumaric acid requires more energy to convert into acid anhydride as compared to the cis isomer so that is again a distinction between cis and trans isomers now we are going to discuss about the spectroscopic techniques which are very useful we are going to discuss uv visible spectra vibrational spectra and nmr spectra so uv visible spectroscopy the trans isomers effective p orbital overlapping is occur therefore the compound have less energy and since we know delta is equal to h nu and h c upon lambda nu is equal to c upon lambda so delta e is inversely proportional to the lambda so less energy means higher wavelength side so the lambda max for the trans isomer is higher than the cis isomers however the energy for the trans isomer is low as compared to the cis isomer here this epsilon or the extinction coefficient value for the trans isomer is higher than the cis isomer 
So through this one can distinguish cis and trans isomers. The next is vibrational spectra. In the vibrational spectra, IR and Raman spectroscopy is considered. And for the for the IR spectroscopy or infrared spectroscopy, it is essential the transition should be accompanied by a change in dipole moment. So the type dipole moment is important in the vibrational spectroscopy. Since the trans isomer is having zero dipole moment value, therefore this doesn't occur with the change in the dipole moment. Therefore, this trans compound doesn't absorb in the eye infrared spectroscopy, doesn't show C double bond C stretching in the range of 1650 to 1680 centimeter inverse. However, trans compound shows Raman spectra change in polarization after absorption is the condition to show Raman spectroscopy. Therefore, this trans compound show Raman spectra. However, it doesn't show absorption in the infrared spectroscopy. If the compound is substituted unsymmetrically then both the compounds cis and trans show C double bond C stretching in the IR spectroscopy. However, the distinction is this cis isomer shows a strong peak in the IR spectroscopy. Intensity of the peak of this trans isomer is weak in IR spectrum. Next is NMR spectra. In the NMR spectra, the coupling constant is the key point which distinguish between cis and trans isomers. So the J coupling or coupling constant for this cis and trans isomers is 3J. 3 means 3 bond. 1, 2 and 3. 3 bond coupling of this in the proton NMR. 3 bond coupling constant for cis isomer is always less than the 3 bond coupling constant of the trans isomer. In this way the physical and chemical properties and the spectroscopic techniques are used to distinguish between cis trans isomers. I hope you find this lecture informative. Thank you all.